up until now, we have worked with 3D LiDAR systems for ADAS. However, in some cases, it fails. In those situations, we can employ stereo vision to extract 3D information for ADAS. What kind of information? Let's find out. Hey there, welcome to Learn Open CV. In this video, we will brief over stereo vision and train the stereo transformer model. Let's get started. Stereo vision captures images from two different viewpoints. When we superimpose these images on top of each other, we see slight differences between the two. This is used to calculate the disparity map. You can learn more about disparity maps in this blog post. Anyway, stereo vision cameras can capture high resolution images, providing detailed texture information, which is available to LiDAR. Moreover, while 3D LiDAR systems fail during extreme lighting conditions, stereo vision cameras perform consistently. And to put the cherry on cake, stereo vision setup is more cost effective than 3D LiDAR systems. We will be using the Kitty Stereo 2015 dataset to train our model. The dataset consists of left and right stereo images and their disparity map. This data is input to the stereo transformer model, which is focused on disparity and occlusion prediction. The stereo transformer feature extractor is an hourglass shaped architecture modified for efficient global context acquisition. It outputs feature embeddings, which is then input to the transformer. Its alternating self and cross attention layers as well as the addition of optimal transport provide soft assignments in stereo matching. The context adjustment layer then uses convolution blocks and residual networks to create the final disparity map and occlusion map. Now let's see how to train the model. To follow along with me, open the Learn Open CV blog post link from the description, click on the download code banner, fill in your details and hit enter. You'll receive a starter code link in your email, download it and let's get started. Step 1. Prepare the dataset. Kitty based dataset is a parent class that handles Kitty datasets and inherits from torch.utils.data.dataset. The init constructor takes two parameters, data dir and the dataset split and initializes the dataset paths and invoke the augmentation method. Moving on, the read data method constructs paths for the images and splits it into training or validation sets. We augment the training stereo images with RGB shifts and random brightness or contrast adjustments. Then we have the Kitty 2015 dataset class and Kitty 2012 dataset class, both of which inherit the Kitty base dataset class. Each class sets the specific directories according to the dataset structure. Finally, we have the Kitty dataset class. This class also inherits from the Kitty base dataset. It sets separate directory paths for both the datasets and then reads and merges them using the overridden read data method. If these concepts are difficult for you to grasp, check out OpenCV University's TensorFlow and Keras Bootcamp. Go to opencv.org slash university slash free courses to know more. Step 2. Training the model. Start by importing the required libraries. Here we initialize all the arguments. We use this function to save and checkpoint our model. And here we print the model parameters. In the main function, we set the seeds, build the model, load it to the GPU and print the parameters. Next, we configure different learning rates for various parts of the model and define our optimizer and the learning rate scheduler. Here we set mixed precision training so the model can run inference faster. If we plan to resume the training, the script loads the previous checkpoint. 
it can run the model in inference mode to make the predictions or it can also evaluate the model on the validation set. Finally, we use a loop for training the model over multiple epochs, including calls for training and validation functions. This also includes LR scheduler stepping and model checkpointing based on validation performance. After training, the final model state is saved as a checkpoint. Step 3. Running inference. Load the necessary libraries and create a function to load the images from a directory. The function will return the images as a list. Now set the model parameters and load the model in evaluation mode. Then load the left and right camera images. Now for each image, normalize and create a nested tensor, which is then used to run inference. Extract the predictions. Normalize the data. Here is our predicted disparity map and predicted occlusion map. So that's all about Stereo Vision in ADAS. If you like this video, check out our video on monocular depth vision or other videos in the ADAS playlist. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.